Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear me. And uh, here we go. We're going uh, we're gonna to talk about an introduction to drug safety and pharmacovigilance. So let's, let's give it a go. Just, just a little bit about me. I, I started working in drug safety about 25 years ago. I spent a lot of my time helping companies with compliance, uh, global safety compliance, improving their business process, and also signal detection. I've given quite a few uh, webinars together with Barbara on that topic. So I think we did one not so long ago, actually. I worked with a lot of clients all over the world. I gave uh, talks with both FDA and MHRA at uh, various conferences, webinars, and various drug safety topics. A year ago, I guess, or, or, or so, maybe a bit more than now, I was elected as the chairperson of the DIA Clinical Safety and Pharmacovigilance Steering Committee. It's actually a thing called a SIAC. If you're a member of DIA, you know, join up, and uh, you can help us perhaps influence the program. Uh, we can figure out what we're going to talk about at DIA meetings. Uh, and once upon a time, I did maths and computer science in, in, in Cambridge in England, and that's enough about me. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to do today. Learning objectives. What I'm trying to give you is a brief history of pharmacovigilance and drug safety. You know, why, why are we doing this? Look at the differences between adverse event reporting in both the clinical and the post-marketing setting. Run you through some of the com common abbreviations and definitions. There, it's got its own language, this, uh, this, this topic. So there's a few things in there. We're going to look at how we handle adverse events, so the collection, assessment, and reporting. Okay, we'll talk about reporting formats. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the, the pertinent U.S. And, and European regulations, and then we'll do a little bit of signal detection and risk management. We'll actually take some data and we'll do a little bit of analysis and find some signals. 